Hello everybody, today we are going to show you how to make wooden squares. In today's lesson we are going to show you how to make your own wooden square. Now we all know that a square looks something like this. Uh, you do need it to mark 90 degrees on a piece of wood and this really is a very very simple tool to make. And a version of that is this one right here which uh, is actually cut into this uh, piece of wood with a bridle joint and you can see that when we make it it's 90 degrees right in here and it's perfect when you do it. Now the one that you're going to make is very simple. It is not that difficult to make. Uh, you're going to get two pieces of wood that look something like this. They are cut uh, very very um, evenly and these two pieces measure an inch and a half by six inches. You need two of them which you'll have in your kit. You have one piece from the middle. This one measures uh, an inch and a half by four and three quarters. And you're gonna need this one, which is the blade, which will be uh, eight and a half inches long by an inch and a half wide. And really, it's not that difficult to assemble this to make a square. All you need to do is, when you come by to pick it up, you're going to have your kit, it'll look something like this. This is all in your kit, right here. Okay, you're going to pick all that up, it'll be all taped. You're going to need a little sandpaper, which I'll include with it. And all you need to do is just get glue, and you're going to need some masking tape. Okay, that's to clamp it up. And you might need a little water and a rag so that, in case you wipe off the extra glue. And that's it. And you're going to need, possibly, a index card if you don't have a square to check it later. All right, now to put this together, it's quite simple. Now these two pieces are the same. These two are the same right here in terms of thickness. You can see it, all right? So when we put this together, this is the, the exact identical thickness, okay? These two also are the same thickness. Okay? And these two go on the outside. So this is a piece of walnut, which will look really, really nice on the outside when you finish it, because when you put it together, it'll look something like this, okay, just so that you can see it, and uh, just put it together, all right, it can look something like this, and that's how it looks, really, really nice, okay, and you can have a nice contrast in color in the middle there, okay, so to put this together, let me just show you, all you got to do is glue it. You could sand it down a little bit if you wanted to. I did mine uh, before, and uh, this way I know they're nice and flat. And so the first thing you're going to do is you are going to glue this piece into one of the side pieces. So you take your little glue. I use white glue because one thing about white glue is it dries invisible. Uh, even though it takes a little bit longer, it doesn't really matter. You don't need to put a whole lot of glue in it, but spread it all the way out to the outside edge so that it really will stick. And you know for a fact that, of course, glue does tend to squeeze out. That's okay. We'll fix that later. Okay, so you see how you take this one and you put it in like that. All right, all the way down to the very end of one side. Okay, so. All right, here's one end. And it looks something like that. That's the first piece, okay? It fits all the way flush to the end. And already this thing is starting to grab a little bit because glue tends to grab very quickly because it's porous. Okay, now the next thing is you are then going to glue the other side on there. Okay, so put some glue onto here. Let's spread it out. You can use your fingers. Make sure it spreads out nicely. Now, don't forget, white glue dries invisible, so you really don't see the glue after you're done with it. Okay, so you have that. So it looks something like this. See, there's two. Okay, now, you make sure that they're, they're flat against the edge, put on top of a table, on a board or something that you might have that's flat. Try to find something. Okay, my table is pretty flat, so it, it'll work for me. And the next thing you're going to do is we should really clamp it together, but we have no way to clamp it at home. So what do we do? Well, you take some masking tape. And masking tape will actually hold it for you while this thing glues. So you're gonna really, really just try to 
put some tape around it. Okay, right to the bottom. Just keep on moving it a little bit till you get it. Let's just put this, in. you don't really need to put a lot, just enough to hold it while the glue sets. Okay, there you go. So once you have that, it's all lined up, it's not moving anywhere, just make sure it is nice and tight. Okay. Now, the next thing we're going to do is we are then going to do this piece here, this piece that comes right in here. Now, this, you've already created this little bridle joint, all right, but this piece actually will go and fit right inside of it snugly if we did it all correctly. You see how it's just, just a little friction fit. Now, you're going to put glue in there. Okay, so we're going to put a little glue in there. So let's start put a little glue. We're going to spread it out. Uh, spread it here. You're going to have a little squeeze out on this one. There's nothing you can do because there's no marking to know where it would hold. And you're then going to slide it in. And of course, it's going to be a little bit gobbly goop. All right, and I, I tend to make it even in the back. Okay, so it's even in the back, flush, okay, because you want that to be gauge. You could actually stand it up, adjust a few times, and then wipe off the extra glue. Now, this one we're not going to clamp yet for a while. Okay, so you're going to have to just... Now, if you do have a clamp, that does help. Um, what kind of clamps? Well, you can use clothespin, too. Clothespin does help. All right, anything that grabs it or hold it. I happen to have a clamp on me, but... I'm, I'm doing it without a clamp just to show you how it can be done. Okay, so wipe off the extra glue because you don't want the glue to uh, affect the way it works. Okay, so just to show you guys. Okay, so you got to make sure you just tap it a few times. Okay, it should look pretty good. You can see how it looks something like that. Again, the glue is in there, right? But it's, even though the glue is in there, it's not even moving because it's really, really firm. Now, we want to make sure that this thing is 90 degrees inside here because we need to make that square. Of course, you're gonna have difficulties because you don't have this tool, all right? So normally you would take this tool and you would just check it and then you press it and then you would hold it, okay? And that's the way it would work. And then we would clamp it in there or we could drill two holes here later and then put two pins here. But we don't have the, that luxury. So what do we do to uh, mark it? Well, we use what we call a index card. And index cards are pretty good. They're pretty uh, accurate. So if you take an index card and you put a square against it, it's actually nine degrees. So you take the index card and then you use that as your gauge, all right? And then you're gonna slide it against it and then you're gonna double check, make sure there's no light coming through. And that should be it. And then you just let it sit. Don't touch it, leave it alone. In about a half an hour, uh, this thing will start to harden up for you. And then after that, we can then check it again, okay? So you don't want to adjust it too much. If it does move out of whack, or if it does move or adjust, then you have to just shimmy a little bit. But you really don't have to touch it at all. It is set, really, it, it, it is set for you to, to work with. And that is your square. And once you finish your square, you're gonna be able to sand it down a little bit. You take some sandpaper, smooth it out. We're gonna check it to make sure it works. And um, the way you really check it is you actually put on top of a piece of wood, you actually just draw both sides, and then you see how, if they're parallel together, then you know that they're squared, okay? So you have a squared finished for you. And that is how you make a square.
If you are interested in making one, please stop by and pick up your kit. It includes three types of abrasive paper uh, and also it includes the four pieces to make your square. Take care everybody.